Alistair Weaver here for Edmunds with the top 10 differences between our 2020 Corvette Stingray and the new 2023 Corvette Z06. The blue car on the right is Edmunds' own C8 Corvette Stingray. We bought it last year with our hard-earned cash and since then we've done over 13,000 miles on it. You can read all about it on the link below. Spoiler alert, we're actually really big fans. On the left is a highlighter yellow car, the new Corvette Z06 that we've borrowed from Chevy for the day. It comes complete with the Z07 Hardcore Performance Pack and promises an even bigger dollop of performance when it goes on sale next summer. We're going to compare the spec of each and declare a winner in each category, which isn't nearly as straightforward as it sounds. And now, without further ado, well, let's get on with it. Let's start with the bit that you probably care about most, the noise. Both these cars have naturally aspirated V8s, not a turbocharger or a supercharger in sight. But this, the new Z06, has a flat plane crank. We're going to talk more about that in a minute. So let's hear them. Fire it up, Maestro, starting with the Stingray. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Corvette Z06. Ridiculous. So who won? Um, so, oh, victory. Winner is the um, Corvette Z06. It's just outrageous. Do you need new pants? <laughs> Power, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this new 5.5 litre V8, in this case built by Brian Walker. Great job, Brian. Hope you're watching. Develops 670 horsepower. The 6.2 litre V8 in the Stingray develops 490 horsepower. This is literally the most powerful, naturally aspirated V8 in history. Good job, GM. Winner, Z06. Power is good. Torque, which I probably do too much of. The Z06 develops 460 pound-feet. The Stingray, 470. So it's a narrow victory for the cartilaginous fish. Winner, Stingray, easily. Crankshaft. The Z06 is a special flat plane crankshaft that saves a ton of weight, helps it rev to an extraordinary 8,600 RPM and sound fantastic. For anywhere close to this money, the only car that revs harder is the Porsche 911 GT3, and that's not a V8. How hard is it to engineer a flat plane crank V8 for sensible-ish money? Answer, very. A few years ago, I spent time with the Ford Performance team as they developed the Mustang GT350, the last mainstream, sort of mainstream car with a, with a flat plane crank, and that was a really tough gig. This is courageous GM, really. By contrast, the Stingray has a more conventional cross plane crankshaft, which is easier to engineer but doesn't have the ultimate performance benefits. It red lines at 6,600 RPM. Winner, Z06. Flat plane cranks are race car cool. Performance. Chevy claims the new Z06 will do 0 to 60 in just 2.6 seconds, while we recorded 3.4 seconds for our Stingray at our very own test track. Winner, Z06, but with an asterisk. We won't know for sure until we test it ourselves. Brakes, wheels, and tires. The Z06 has six piston calipers in the front, and four pistons in the rear. The Stingray has four pistons all round and smaller Brembo rotors, but with the Z07 you see here, you get larger Brembo carbon ceramic brakes, even says so here, and special Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2R tires. Now, I've driven these tires on a 911 GT3 and they're basically hand-cut slicks, which you would just about get away with if you live here in Southern California. But if you live in Michigan, you're going to need a spare pair of boots. And you can pay a few grand more for these awesome carbon fiber rims, which apparently are the widest ever sold. They say 41 pounds of unsprung mass, which is undeniably a good thing. And they are maximum, maximum pose. Winner, Z06. But if you're going for the Z07 pack, you're going to need a big budget for boots. 
Now here's a bit of practical real world car shopping advice. If you're going to buy a Stingray, tick the box for the optional MagnaRide suspension. It's just under two grand. We did and we don't regret it. Honestly, that thing rides better than many so-called luxury sedans. The Z06 gets MagnaRide suspension as standard, but it's been retuned and so have the springs. Then, if you go for the Z07 pack, it's stiffer still. Will that compromise the Corvette's everyday versatility? Probably. Will it be worth it? Maybe. Winner, TBC. Styling. The Z06 just looks that little bit more alpha. It's 3.6 inches wider to accommodate those bigger boots, and you get new front and rear fascias with an extra radiator here at the front. The four exhaust pipes have also been redesigned, so instead of two at either side of the rear, you now get four in the middle, just to wind up the Tesla fanboys. Then if you go Z07, you get that mighty rear wing and a carbon fiber front splitter with these so-called dive planes. Is it OTT, over the top? Well, of course it is, but hey, this is a VET. Winner, Z06, because in a Corvette, less is always less. By the way, if you're wondering why our C8 Corvette is a crack in the windscreen, join the club. It broke two months ago and it got hit by a stone, and so far we failed miserably to get it fixed. GM sent out two different windscreens, both of which arrived broken. So if you're sitting on a windscreen for a new Corvette that you'd like to sell us, please drop me a line to my Instagram account, at WeaverOnCars, that's at WeaverOnCars, and we'll do a deal. Frankly, we're struggling. Optional on the Z06 is all this carbon fiber trim that will likely cost you a couple of grand. Now, decorative carbon that doesn't help you save weight is a real pet hate of mine. Honestly, don't do it. Best to leave well alone, because otherwise the Corvette has a well-executed, high quality and comfortable cabin. Winner, Stingray, because the carbon fiber aberration isn't even an option. When the Stingray was originally unveiled, its $60,000 price tag caused a sensation, and rightly so. This one actually set us back 80 grand, which we think is really the sweet spot for a Stingray. Chevy won't confirm the price for a Z06, but we reckon it'll start at around $95,000. Then you can add on about 10,000 more for the Z07 pack, plus the carbon fiber wheels and a few other goodies too. This car that you see here is probably gonna be around $115,000. Now we recognize that's a load of money by anyone's standards, but consider this, even the base price for the similarly powered Lamborghini Huracan is over $200,000. Winner, a tie. All things are relative, but the Corvette is still a relative bargain. It's no secret that we love our Corvette Stingray. It won our Edmunds Top Rated Award in the sports car class last year, and a year of ownership and 13,000 miles has done nothing to dent our enthusiasm, even if we can't get a new windshield. On paper, or even sitting on the floor behind me there, the Z06 feels like a logical next step, with or without the Z07 pack. And of course, it sounds fantastic. But here's a cautionary tale. Part of the Stingray's appeal is its everyday versatility. And will the new harder edge and retuned suspension compromise some of that? I guess we'll have to wait until the spring when we finally get to drive it to find out. Can't wait. If you enjoyed this film, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget the, the bell thing. And of course, if you're wanting to sell your car, head to edmunds.com slash sellmycar and we'll make you a cash offer. Thanks for watching. See you soon.